Hi guys, this is Grace Pamela Summerana.com and I'm going to show you today how to edit um, this photo which is completely underexposed and because it's a raw photo um, I'm able to completely brighten it up and make it look like I never even made a mistake in camera in the first place. Um, this image was purposely underexposed just so I can show you the power of um, a raw photo and the power of Lightroom. So this image um, obviously is completely underexposed and the great thing about raw formats is it stores all of the lighting info from that day. So it stored also, it stored it as, as you shot it, but it also stored it as, um, it stored a lot of the light info that you had during that day. So if you were to expose it properly, um, your raw photo stored that information. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to edit this, um, not using any presets or anything, uh, just in Lightroom uh, by hand. So obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to your exposure slider and bring that up. So you can already see um, we're able to brighten it up and bring back that light without losing any of the quality of the image or the details. That's um, if you shot if you shot this in JPEG format, you would not be able to do this because it would start to get pixelated and there's no way it would look nearly this nice. So now that we brought our exposure up, uh, we can go ahead and start editing the rest of it, just the basic edits, um, like your shadows. You're going to want to brighten up those shadows a bit so it's not so dark. And bring up your whites and that'll increase the brightness of your whites and also help with the exposure. Your blacks, you can bring them up just a bit, or you can bring them down if you like a little more crunchy photo. Your highlights, you can either bring them up or down, whichever you feel is best for your photo. Every photo is going to be completely different, so that's why I think it's important to know how to do this also without any presets, because um, even with presets, the same preset won't look the same on every single photo. Another tidbit I'd like to show you is your white balance may also be um, different than you wanted it to be in camera. So you can go ahead and grab your white balance selector here. And I like to select an area um, that is kind of gray to fix it. Otherwise, you can go ahead and adjust the sliders right here manually. can bring up the vibrance, make it look more like your JPEG photo did on the back of your camera. Another thing I like to do is I like to go down to camera calibration. So you can just go ahead and select this little arrow here, arrow, and you can go to profile and go drop down here, the drop down menu and select landscape or vivid or whatever might look uh, best. And you can kind of work your way from that. So this gave us a really nice base picture, but I'm gonna go back up and I'm going to edit it some more. And also I can see, um, I do like a lot of the color, but it's getting a little too blue and too colorful there. So I'm gonna go down to color here. I'm gonna select blue. I'm just gonna bring the saturation of the blues down a bit. And you can also play around with the other colors if you like. If there's too much red or whatnot, or you can change the hue completely. Okay, so there's our basic edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the before and after. So as you can see, our image was, this usually would have been an image you would have just tossed away, and now we see that it's completely um, usable. Um, it's not perfect, and you can keep working at it. You can keep um, doing the rest of your edits in Photoshop or um, stay in Lightroom if you want and just continue to edit it, whichever you prefer. And yeah, so that's the before and after. That's how to completely fix a underexposed image in Lightroom using your raw uh, format file.
I'm gonna go ahead and show you a more closer before and after. So this is before and after. I hope it was helpful and thank you so much for watching.